This is the brand new Gucci Illuminator de Beauté Multi-Use Highlighting Drops. The first liquid face highlighter from the iconic brand, blended with ultra-fine luminous pearls and black rose extract. This glowing formula cares for the skin as it provides all-day smoothing and hydration. Available in one universal shade that is meant to flatter all skin types. Is it? Honestly, this is running a little gold and I run a little cool. We're gonna see how this works out but it is meant to flatter everyone. And I'm part of everyone, right? This is it right here. You've got your standard recycled packaging. The product is good for 12 months. What I like about the component is that it you've got this very luxe, it's a very heavy component. I like that it's glass. You've got your squeeze top. It's beautiful. So you don't get a lot. It doesn't fill up the whole component. I'm just going to squeeze this here. That is one drop. This is very liquidy, as you guys can see. Gucci is very specific, saying that we can use this three different ways. So of course, I'm gonna try them on and test them out for you guys. First of all, I'm going to use this on bare skin. Second, I'm going to apply this, mixing it in with my foundation. And thirdly, I am going to apply this on top of the foundation as a liquid highlight. All right, guys, I can't wait to test this out. Let's just dive right in. So I do have my palette right here. I am going to take a drop on the back of my hand. That's one drop. It's like half a drop. Okay, so I am gonna pick up a Merit brush here to blend this in. So I'm just gonna stipple that on the back of my hand. We've got some product on the brush. I'm just gonna go in with bare skin and just circle motions and blend this into my hairline. It does say on their website that you can use this product alone don't get me wrong, it's really pretty, but this is giving me full forehead, like, shine. Like, and in the sun, I mean, this is gonna glisten and be like a hot mess. I don't think I love using it on bare skin. If this was like a shoulder moment, like right here, I could totally get down for that. But on the face, not so much. You know, like this is really, really pretty, but yeah, this, not loving it. Now, you can go in with any foundation that you want with this. Now, it does recommend that you go in with the Gucci foundation. Also, super pretty. Love that foundation. Hate the way it smells, but love the foundation. If you guys haven't seen the video, definitely go check it out. But I'm going to use this one right here. So this one is the Born This Way foundation. This is a classic foundation. It is a more of a matte foundation. So I'm just going to take some of this. Now, I, the reason I picked this foundation, I've reviewed a lot of foundations recently. A lot of them already have a really nice, beautiful, dewy complexion. This one's definitely more of a matte foundation. So I went in with this one just because I want to add that, you know, that beautiful, dewy complexion to this. I want to see how this works. Going in with a clean merit brush. Absolutely love this brush, and I will link it in the description for you guys. If you don't have one, definitely pick it up. It's so good. Love it for absolutely everything. So I'm just going to pick up some of this foundation. Again, nothing mixed into it. We're just going to apply straight up foundation on one side of my face. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a good drop of this. That is a definitely a good drop. That's more than I got before. So we're going to just mix this up here with the brush. All right, so I'm stippling this out, mixing it up on the palette. I'm just gonna take it now and blend this into my skin. I'm starting in the center and working my way out to the hairline. There is absolutely no scent to this product, which I actually like. So this is the straight up foundation. Again, matte, no shine to it. This is the product with the illuminizer mixed into it. I like it, like, honestly, there's such an angelic glow to this. When it's straight up on your skin, that I'm not living for. That's giving me sweaty, beer gut. I don't like, I don't like this. Okay, that, we're just not gonna look there. No, that, we're not doing that. But this mixed into the foundation, that's giving me vibes. Like that's, that's everything to me. Like this is beautiful. I super like this. I don't have any concealer on or anything like that, but this is pretty. Like, honestly, I could just like leave my house and be totally fine without concealer and just be like, okay, a natural moment. Like, this is beautiful. I like it so much. You've got super good coverage. The sheen isn't terribly intense when it's mixed into that foundation. It just 
amplifies the matte to make it a beautiful kind of golden goddess vibe. You know, you've got that beautiful goddess-like glow. Loving it. And finally, I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my finger and tap onto my skin. So as a highlight over top of a powdered base, am I living for that? Is there better out there? I really think that there is. Like, this is very sheer. It's gentle. It looks cute, but it's not like fabulous. Hold up. Before I end this video, I need to talk to you guys. I need to tell you about this. So this is the product right here. I've already used a fifth of the bottle. This is a huge problem for me. I'm actually a little bit pissed. We need to talk about it. Now I went in, I filmed this for you guys. I was filming for about 30 minutes. I tested it on my forehead. We dabbed it on right here. That's not a lot of usage. And of course I mixed it in with the foundation on this side. I of course, you know, swatched it on my hand. I am a beauty journalist. I did go in and test this out once before, before filming for you guys. So I would know what to say to you guys, let you know the pros and cons of the product. That's what I always do for you. But this is settled sitting here on my vanity and I'm like, I have to come back on. I have to tell you guys this. Using a fifth of the bottle for, we're gonna say like at least two to three uses out of this, I'm shocked because for the amount you get in here, this is $62 Canadian and you get 12 fluid ounces. That's not a lot of product. There are similar products on the market, which of course don't have the Gucci name to it, but they are almost better because Honestly, I went through so much product using this. Everyone's use case is different, so do keep that in mind, but you are buying into the Gucci name. I do feel that there are other products out there like the Kosas that I recently reviewed for you guys. That is a really beautiful product. You get more for your money there, but this is really pretty. Do I love it? Not 100%. I do like it. I just don't love it. Like I'm getting really pretty glow here, but is it meant for your body? No, it's meant for your face. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye.